Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a part one of a, I think a three part series that I'm going to do on the Paul McCartney archive collection. Uh, rather than going in chronological order, I'm just going to go in the order that these uh, editions were released since they will vary from part one to part three. So the first album that was released in this deluxe edition here is the Band on the Run album from 1973. And as you can see, these are all in, in a book format. Each of these three albums here, Band on the Run, McCartney, and McCartney 2, are in this book format. They all have the album cover on the cover of the book here. And these books are all kind of a like a cloth, like a maybe a tweed looking cover. And they say the Paul McCartney Archive Collection with his signature there. Same on the spine. And on the back, this was taped to the back of all these. I just left mine on there. I didn't feel like taking that off. It just gives a description of what's all included in the sets here. For Band on the Run, there's four discs. There's three CDs and one DVD. And these are numbered editions. Here I got that number. And so on the first CD we get the, the complete remastered album here. And then CD2 has some B-sides and some bonus tracks there. And CD3, if you happen to have the 25th anniversary box edition that uh, came out, uh, this is an audio documentary. And those are the people that are interviewed on there. So that's the same CD that was issued with that, that edition. And the DVD features the music video for Band on the Run, Mamunia, and there's an album promo. Yeah, the Helen Wheels music video, and Wings and Lagos. That's uh, about a three minute video. Uh, kind of some behind-the-scenes stuff of them in Lagos. And the wings in Lagos. Yeah. Australia Park. Um, that's a 15 and a half minute long video of the preparing for the cover shoot, which is really quite interesting, I thought. And there's the one-hand clapping. That's about 52 minutes long, so that's kind of worth worth having there too. It also includes a digital download card there with the remastered album. So let's just take a look inside here and see what we got. Uh, I'll try and do my best to show you some stuff here, but I'm not going to show you every every page of the book. An introduction there. Uh, there's a lot of interviews here and lots of different video uh, pictures included. There's some of the different outtakes of the album cover.
All these pictures are taken from that DVD of the behind the scenes from the album shoot. A couple, couple different back covers there. Got some eight tracks. Here's just kind of like the credits of what what each song includes there. And then the CDs are actually included on this back heavier cardboard page. There's a digital download code that you get. And here we have the original album. And then there's a CD with bonus audio. And then this is the audio documentary and then also the DVD. And that was released in 2010. That was the first release in this archive collection. So then we had to wait till May of the next year, 2011, and then McCartney 1 and McCartney 2 were re both released at that same time. And so again, they kept the same format here with the album cover kind of glued onto the front there with the felt or cloth covers. And again, this, this piece is taped on there when you get it. And it's a numbered edition. So here we can see what's all included. There's just three discs in this one, two CDs and one DVD. And the digital download as well. So we have the original album here. And then we got some, uh, just seven bonus tracks here. And then there's a bonus DVD as well. So we have the album story. That's about nine and a half minutes long. It kind of just has some animation there and uh, has Paul in the background doing some interview questions, talking about how the album came together. The beach, that is just under three minutes long. Um, there's Paul and Linda going on the, walking along the beach. And that's where this, this photo was taken, as you, you'll see in that footage. Then we have the Maybe I'm Amazed music video. Uh, we have Suicide from One Hand Clapping. And there's Every Night from and Hot as Sun are both from the People of Kampucha concert. And then we have also the Junk and that would be something from MTV Unplugged. And the digital download as well. So again, I'll just run through this a little quickly here. Basically the same setup as the first. It's all the different stuff in the book here.
lots more photos than words in this this book. Again, the last page is this heavier cardstock, and we have again the download code and the original remastered album, the bonus audio, and the DVD here. And then this one came with the different albums that are also available. You can get Band on the Run and Paul McCart or McCartney too. Plus. Coming soon, Venus and Mars, Wings at the Speed of Sound, Wings over America, and Ram. And here we have McCartney 2. Again, the same format, just a different color. Kind of matches the album, the blue on the album here. The numbered. So what do we get in this one? Four discs. There's three CDs and one DVD. Along with the book and the download. So here we have the original remastered album. Uh, here's some bonus audio, some unreleased tracks, some live versions, extended version of Christmas, Wonderful Christmas Time. And here we have some longer versions of these songs. And on the DVD we got Meet Paul McCartney. Uh, that is an interview that he did with Tim Rice, and that's about 25 minutes long. And we have the Coming Up music video, Waterfalls music video, uh, the video for Wonderful Christmas Time. And then we have this Coming Up section where we got a live version and a bit of a rehearsal and the making of the coming up music video and this unreleased track Blue Sway there's a filmmaker who did a video with that song in the background so that's featured there so we'll take a quick look at what's inside here So McCartney, the first solo album that was released right after the breakup of the Beatles. So it was just Paul on his own playing all the instruments in 1970. McCartney 2 released 10 years later in 1980 after the breakup of Wings. And it was just Paul playing all the music again himself. So I think that's kind of the reason that those two were released at the same time. There are a lot of similarities there in the way the albums were made and things like that. Got some Q&A here with Paul. some behind the scenes of the coming up video with all the different characters that play Paul played by himself Waterfalls video. And again, we have the lyrics here and the album credits. And 
And here we have the remastered album, the bonus audio, another disc of bonus audio, the download and the DVD. And again, another one of the coming soon cards and other albums that are available. So that's part one of a three-part series. In part two, I'll be taking a look at RAM and Wings Over America because those two kind of changed up the format of how the, the boxes and things looked. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you next time.